This is a lesson on exploring rectangles with equal perimeters. So um, the first thing that you need to know in this lesson is that a perimeter is a boundary around an object. Um, and then area, which we'll be talking a little bit about, is the amount of space inside an object. Um, the next thing that you need to know is that when finding the perimeter of a rectangle on grid paper, you can count the number of squares that touch the edge of the shape. Now I'll show you this in a little bit um, in case you're unclear, but you don't even need a ruler if you are drawing on one centimeter grid paper because uh, it does the measuring for you. You just have to count. And the last thing that you need to know is that rectangles of different sizes, so they have areas, can have the same perimeter. So it, it's the same amount of distance around, but the inside has different amount, amount of space. And we're going to look at that in the example coming up next. So um, you're going to follow along with me for this. And um, we've got an example. So it says, make as many rectangles as you can that have a perimeter of 18. Now, this might be a daunting task to think about um, where you would start because um, if you think about a rectangle, it has four sides. Um, this side and this side are exactly the same uh, length or width, whatever. Um, and then this side and this side are exactly the same. So if we figure out um, one of the shorter sides and one of the longer sides and then double it, we'll get our perimeter. <clears throat> now, knowing that knowledge, this is how you can find your first rectangle. So we're going to use this chart um, because I found it easier to use find the length and width before creating um, the rectangle, and this is why. So um, we're going to find a variety of rectangles. So we're going to find the long skinny one first. And the way that we do that is we look at the perimeter that we want, which is 18, and we cut it in half. So half of 18 is 9. Half of 18 is 9. So that would be if we added uh, one of the shorter sides to the, one of the longer sides, we could get 9. Now, if I take 1 away from 9, because I have to split that 9 up in between, between two sides, if I take 1 away from 9 and put it right here, and then I put the rest of it over here, which is 8, I will get my first rectangle, and I'll show you why that works. So I will have a length of 8 and a width of 9. So I'll thicken this so that you can see. And we're just going to assume that this um, is one centimeter grid paper. It's not quite exactly, but uh, it's as close as I could get on the computer without taking substantial effort. So we're going to draw this. So uh, we're going to go one square wide, and then we need to do eight down. Oh, it doesn't follow along. Well, there we go. Maybe that'll follow along this time. There we go. Okay. So. We're going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is what I mean by counting the squares. Uh, just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And if possible, use a ruler for these. But if you can draw relatively straight, whoop, unlike my line um, right here, Okay, so this is, uh, it would let me write, there we go, uh, this is 1 by 8. Now, um, from here, you could do on the chart, or you could do um, on on the grid to, to find the next one, whichever is easier if you're visual or if you're uh, numbers. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to make the biggest number smaller by one 
and then you're going to make the uh, smallest number bigger by one. So this is going to go down one and this is going to go up one. And it should work because if we double seven, we get 14. And if we double two, we get um, four. So 14 plus four will eight equal 18. Just like if we double eight, we get 16. And then double this one, 17, 18. Okay, so now we need to make a square with a length of two and a, or a length of seven and a width of two. So I will show you again. So we go across one, two, and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we label it. So this is two and this is seven now. Okay, if I was going to do the next one on my own um, without the chart first, then I would go just one more across. So instead of two, I have three, and then one less down. So now I've got three here, and I've got six here. And the seven goes for this one. It's going to get confusing if we draw it so close. So we'll add this up here. We've got a six and we've got a three. And uh, looks like this might be our last one. We're going to go um, four across and five down. There we go. So you're drawing this as well on your paper. Um, but we've got five and then four. And the reason why I know that this is the last one is because if I were go to go across again uh, further and down shorter, I would come up with five and four. And that's just, that's exactly what we just drew. It's just turned. So that's the same thing. Okay. Um, now, sometimes in this lesson, you're going to have to find uh, the greatest area. And so that's just counting the number of squares on the inside of each. So let's do that right now. So our long skinny one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares in there. So we write eight for our area. Uh, this one will count, skip count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. We've got 14 squares in this one. Now we could do this mathematically too. We could go back and count all the squares in this one or it could just multiply length times width because that equals area. So six times three is 18. And if you don't believe me, go and count the squares down here. It should equal 18. And then five times four is 20. So you'll notice that um, the closer to a square that the rectangle gets, that, that means that the closer to the um, shape where the sides are all the same length, the bigger the area is going to be. So what you need to do now is um, turn the page and you're going to do the practice and it's very similar to the one that we just did um, but we're using a different number basically. So it says Simon wants to build a rectangular pen in his backyard for his pot belly pig, Smiley. Simon has 22 meters of wire mesh for a fence to enclose the pen. Simon wants the greatest possible area for the pen. Find all possible dimensions with a perimeter of 22 meters. Select the one with the greatest area, the number of squares inside the pen. Use the table and graph paper to show to solve. So for example, if he had 18 meters of wire mesh, then the pen should be four meters by five meters. Okay? Um, so I'm sure you could figure out what the shape might look like, but try to find all the other possible things too. So pause the video and then play again once you're finished. Okay, and I'm just going to explain how I find the first one again. Um, because you, just for those people who aren't sure, um, if, you, if you don't need this explanation, then just skip ahead. So um, to find my first length and width, I can take 22. And I, could, I can cut it right in half. So half of 2 is 1. So 1, 1, that's going to be 11. So I'm going to find lengths and widths that when added together equal 11. Because we're finding just the 1 or half of the sides. 
Okay, so um, 1 less than 11 is 10. So that can be my first length. And then my next width can be 1. Okay, and then I, I think you can go from here. But you're going to go 1 less here to 9 and 1 more here to 2 and so on. So I'm going to pause the video and fill the rest of this out. Um, you continue on as well if you haven't already. All right, so this is what your rectangles should look like. Um, I shouldn't have left extra space in between these ones because these ones are right beside each other. And um, you should be leaving at least one um, space, I guess, in between each of your rectangles, okay? Also remember to put the dimensions on there. Um, you just have to put it one per side. So one on the one and one on the 10, it's fine. Like that. Um, and then your chart should look like, woo, it's going crazy up here. Okay, so we've got 10 and 1, 9 and 2, 8 and 3, 7 and 4, and 6 and 5. Notice that all of these add up to 11. And if we doubled them, would add up to 22, which is our perimeter. And then our area, we've got 10 meters, 18 meters, 24 meters, 28 meters, and 30 meters right here. So we would want, it's actually meters squared if we're going to get technical, but this is the pen that we would want for Smiley the pig. He would be happiest in this one, right? Because he has the most amount of room to run and play. And what little pig doesn't want that? All right, so um, your lesson is um, on page 129 to 130, and it's numbers 1 to 4 and 7.